Hey bitches, I'm going to do a general reading just to see what the current energies are. Um, this is going to be for today and tomorrow. So um, just take note that because I release them on these days doesn't mean they're just specifically for those days, okay? It can resonate with you any other day of the week or any other day of your life. Okay, so let's go ahead. I'm going to be using the Santa Muerta deck. Okay, as you guys could see when I went, when I went live, um, I mentioned the giveaway that I was doing. I'm giving away this deck, brand new deck with a pack of incense. So if you guys wanted to enter, everything is down below in the description box from that unboxing that I did and the live. So you can find it there. You can just email me uh, their information. And then I'm gonna be using the zombie tarot along with that. And I will be using the Halloween Oracle. Okay, so let's see, let's get it poppin'. Let's see what kind of messages come out for you guys. I wanted to record my video in my kitchen today because I got a little, it got a little stuffy back there. <laughs> a little, little stuffy, so. All right, let's see. Please take note that this may or may not resonate with you. Um, that's what private readings are for. If you want to book a private reading with me, everything will be down below in the description box. So, um, always check your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, whatever signs, okay? Tomato, tomato. <laughs> See where we're at. All right. What are the current messages? This is for the collective. Mm, we have two. We have the Page of Swords and the ace of wands wow okay you see that ace of wands page of swords okay let's lay a few more cards so far i feel like some of you have been seeing um something that you've been wanting to do something very creative i don't know if some of you are into like making youtube videos uh halloween looks perhaps really getting into maybe decorating your house taking notes on some things going crazy on pinterest looking at ideas i feel like some of you guys are you know gathering information and, and putting in your own little touches to create something something very very you know creative obviously so with the with the ace of wands here i feel like you guys are going to be very inspired so either something caught your attention that you know really lit that fire in your chest where you're like oh my god i need to do this or i'm very inspired and you're going to take action with something so that's what i'm seeing um for some of you guys that you're going you're going to be doing Okay, we have the strength card reversed. Strength reversed. So I feel the only issue is with this is that, um, you know, after being in a period of not having the strength to get anything done or do things. Let me turn this around so you guys can see it a little bit. Um, maybe you guys have been feeling lazy with all these freaking energies that are going on you know, the planets and all that shit. It's like, oh my God, what, you know, you've been very sleepy or very lazy. Some of us have been very outgoing and creative and just getting out there and getting shit done. No matter how fucking crazy you feel or how zombie-ish you feel, like I feel like spirit is literally going to cat get something to catch your attention where you're just going to go out there, take action and get shit done. Like you're finally going to get up off your ass and <laughs> work with these energies and, you know, create something amazing. Eight of Cups reversed. Some of you are probably not letting go of a certain project. Probably, perhaps, you know, it could be a project that you are not done with or complete with. Maybe you feel like you're, you're, you're trying to give up or you're like on literally hanging on strings, maybe at wit's end, you know, because you've been maybe trying to get a project done or whatever. And now it's just like, 
I gotta get this done. I need to get off my ass. I need to find the strength to get up and do it. Despite of whatever it is that I'm going through internally, you gotta get it done. You will feel so much more better and happier once you do it. Once you've done it, any little creative thought that comes into your mind, boom. That's all it takes is for you, you know, to just go with the flow. Literally, just do it. Let me get my clarifiers here. Let's get some more. There's a reason why that has been, you know, whatever it is that you guys are working on or towards or wanting to get done. There's a reason why you weren't able to fully give up or walk away from. It's because you're meant to do this. Oh, crap. Of course, my cards always fall. Okay. Zombie. Zombie terror. Now is the time to start getting creative. So whatever it is that you know you've been procrastinating on, it's time to get it done. Boo boo. It's the perfect time. Especially, you know, this full moon or new moon, whatever it is going to be in Aries. That is going to really get people into their creative mode. I can't even pick this up with my nails. <laughs> this is really going to light that passion, that desire. Whatever it is that you desire and passion, you're really going to want to start to do it now. You're going to start seeking things to get, you know, gather information, start getting things together to make it happen. Like I said, it could be decorating your house for Halloween, finally pulling them out of the garage or getting them out of the basement or whatever it is, like cleaning it up and decorating your house and planning festivities and going to haunted houses and going to, you know, Universal Studios Fright Fest or whatever it is that you've been you know, lacking or haven't had the strength to do, it's going to come to you and you're going to be able to get it done now. Okay, we have two cards that flew out. We have the King of Cups. And let me pull this up so you guys can see. Let me push this aside and then put this here. Hopefully you guys can see that. Well, yeah, King of Cups, and then we have the Three of Hazards reversed, which is the Three of Pentacles reversed. Someone is not willing to participate, whether this is your husband or your significant other, who is just not willing to, you know, get that shit done for you. Oh, hon, can you take my, my, my things down from the garage, or can you get this done down for me? It's too, too, you know, too big or too high. I don't know why I couldn't say that. It's too high for me to go get. Mm, no, they're just lagging it. I love you, but I'm swamped with work. I don't have time for that. And they're just not willing to participate. You're just like, are you fucking serious? So maybe you have to have the strength to deal with this kind of shit. And you're like, you know what? I'm just going to do it myself. If this motherfucker doesn't want to help me out, guess what? I'm grabbing the ladder. If I break a leg, whatever, it's on him. You're going to be, you're going to be freaking blaming his ass now. <laughs> Knock on wood, but I'm just saying. <laughs> Someone is not willing to help you out. And I feel like it's somebody's man or husband, you know, especially if you're mar married or taken or living with them. They're not willing to help you out. They just want to sit there and get all the love and the attention. And, you know, they don't want to help you out with the decorating or whatever it is. And it's like pissing you off. And you're like, all right, well, guess what? No sex for you tonight. <laughs> no sex for you, baby. Oh, that's a little Ace of Cups. Oh, there is a way to get to him, though. Hello. You got to bribe them in. Women, you know exactly what to do to your man to get him to get his ass up and help you out, right? What does this mean? The Ace of Cups, it means love. It could be, it could be hate, love, hate, hunger, whatever it is. It's literally something that you're offering to your significant other. Okay, be a little sweet, even if it's, you know, it pisses you off. <laughs> Look at this, off with your head type of shit, right? So I feel like my women, okay, or male, whether you're male or female and whoever plays the masculine and feminine role, you guys are going to be, you know, all lovey double dovey just for the sake of you know getting it your way so that they can help you out whether this is them saying i'm not gonna have nothing to do with this i don't want to do this i don't want to do that you know 
with the three of hazards reverse, three of pentacles reverse, not willing to work together, you know, you know, not work, not willing to do shit. <laughs> Lick his ass, whatever you got to do, right? <laughs> Get down on your knees, bitches. Nah, just kidding. I mean, if that's your thing, then fuck it. If it works, it works. If it works, it works. Queen of Hazards, Queen of Pentacles. Ooh, who wears the pants in the relationship? Hello. Kind of seems like the women do lately, right? No offense to the males. I'm just saying. If the males are not willing to fucking put in the work <laughs> and just sit there and look pretty now, I mean, like, hello, Queen of Hazards, the Queen of Pentacles. Look at that. You're just like, ah, oh, I've worked so hard today. I have no arms. I need you to get that down for me. I need you to do this for me. I need I need your help and not, not willing to help. So you're going to literally have to sit there and pretend your arms are chopped off and be like, I can't do it. I can't do it. <laughs> I work too hard. I'm tired. I can't do it. You need to help me. <laughs> I love this deck. It's so interesting. Like literally so interesting. It's kind of like the war of your significant other when they're not willing to you know help you with your decorations or help you with that project or whatever it is and they think they're just like you know too good for it and they want nothing to do with it and all of a sudden you show them a little love and affection and and all of a sudden they want to participate i'm telling you that is very magical that ace of cups really does work <laughs> and as i say that look what comes out the knight of cups Mm -hmm. Some of you are dealing with the Cancer Scorpio Pisces here. Knight of Cups, see? Riding on waves of love. Ready to come in and help and save the day. Finally, right? <laughs> Someone did something right. Mm-hmm. I know. Mm-hmm. What you been doing? Who you been doing? What did you do? No. <laughs> All right. Let's get one more card here. Damn. It's all about, you know, tapping into your creativity. I could feel it. I could feel the energy. Oops. High Priestess Reverse. Yes. It's time to really get start tapping into your dark side. I'm not saying that in the really creepy, weird, evil way or anything like that. But it's really start, start to get creative in like creating something mysterious and dark and haunting. Like I said, Halloween decorations or something like that. Really start to get into your, your, look into your subconscious mind with this high priestess here, reverse. Look in your subconscious mind and do not ignore your intuition when something tells you, oh, this would be perfect and you ignore it. Do not ignore that, okay? Really follow your, your, your intuition, your gut feeling and start something that you really know that would be worth it. I'm telling you, you're going to feel so much better. You're going to feel good, especially with the ace of cups and the ace of wands. This is like passionate emotional fulfillment happiness your significant other your significant woman is or male or female is going to be grateful and thankful for who you are because you're someone very creative you're someone who keeps the house good clean good looking like you hopefully <laughs> i'm just saying <laughs> let's see let's get an oracle a halloween oracle or two yeah, I feel like Spirit is saying it's time for everybody to start getting creative. Let's start fucking tinkering away, right? Mm-hmm. All right. Let's see. What message, what oracle card do we have here? You know what else I'm seeing in this reading too is that after a very long, hard day of working, your significant other is going to come in and spoil the living fuck out of you. Give you some passion, some love. They're going to come in and act like fucking macho and, and Mr. How do you say it? Um, Casanova and shit. It's going to keep you. And this is why you're not able to ever walk away from this person because despite of, you know, the troubles and everything, Despite of you wanting to kill them sometimes, it's just like they know exactly what to do to just keep you, to keep you hanging around. You know what I mean? It's like those motherfuckers, whether they're male or female, you know, it doesn't matter. That's what I'm seeing here. I'm also hearing that some of them are already wanting you to uh, dress up. 
and be kinky and, and role play and make sexual videos with them. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what I'm seeing too. Just, I'm just saying, I'm just throwing that out there. All right, we have the Skull of Stars, Infinite Possibilities. Ooh, you see that? This creative process is coming, it comes with infinite possibilities. I'm telling you, it's time. It's time to get created. I'm, I'm going to agree to you what that means in the book. Let me see, School of Stars. Bum, bum, bum. Let's see here. Okay, School of Stars. Why think so small when galaxies spin within? Realize that you are made of the stuff of stars and infinite possibilities begin. This goal brings us back to the fact that we are all made of the stuff of stars, yet many of us think so small. We are each born with a blank canvas to paint upon, and we are indeed an open sky of possibilities. You see? A blank canvas paint. You see that? It's like creative. You paint. You make your own reality. It's time to start getting creative with your life. It is easy to feel small in a world that is so busy and personal and seemingly self-absorbed. We can at times feel lost and unclear about our direction and lose sight of our place in the cosmos. The skull of stars remind us that we are only limited by our own imagination and boundaries. If we can dream it, it is possible. This card indicates that you need to think bigger and more broadly about your future and what you would like to achieve. Perhaps there are false beliefs, often old, that no longer serve you as you grow and change. Sometimes these beliefs may not even be yours. They may have been imparted to you by your parents or the wider community, yet feel rather incongruent to you. You need to endeavor with all of your heart and soul to live the life you want and honor your own wishes and truth. Wow. Infinite possibilities. Start tapping into... Do not limit yourself to what you can do. That's just self-limiting, honestly. Okay, if you grew up believing that you're not able to do things or the sky's a limit, I, I don't like that verse. Oh, the sky's a limit. No, it's not. You can go beyond the motherfucking, the dome. I feel like we live, oh yeah, well, that's a different story, but I'm saying the sky is not the limit. Do not limit yourself to what you can do. Do not tell yourself, oh, I wish I can do that, but I, I wish I had those kind of talents. Yes, you can. You just start doing it, but create it in your own way. Okay, let me get one more card. <sighs> what you can imagine you can achieve is what I'm hearing here. Sorry, I had to put this back. Ooh. Almost. Almost wanted to come out. Oh, there's another one. Skull of Darkness. Remember I was saying reach into your dark side? Let's see here. All right, Skull of Darkness. Let's read that. Ooh, nailed it. Opened it and it was right there. <clears throat> All right, we may not wish to delve there, the shadows, the darkness, the unknown. Yet, when we search, we reveal in our power it has grown. We reveal and our power, it has grown. The beautiful and mysterious school of darkness encourages us to look to the part of ourselves that normally remains hidden or as unseen as possible. As I was saying with the high priest is reversed. We may not appreciate or like certain aspects of ourselves and yet sometimes our greatest treasures lie within these areas. How many times have you heard of famous artists or people extremely successful in their fields being bullied for being so different. Yet it is their very differences from others that make them so powerful. Speaking about artists again, you see that? Creative. Ugh, I love it. Additionally, all of us at some stage of life have certain blind spots that may cause us brief and trouble. Although we cannot see the issue clearly, it is the repeated patterns of of pain that may alert us to them. Symptoms, if you will. For example, the same thing keeps happening over and over again. We may be betrayed repeatedly, fail at something repeatedly, 
not complete task continually. Remember, not complete tasks. How I was telling you with the Eight of Cups reverse, how you you tried to quit at one point, but you never really walked away from it or never really quit quit. You just put it behind you or procrastinated. This is right. This is what's what it's talking about. Not completed task continually. Peace and pattern breaking can be achieved by doing the work and uncovering our blind spots or even consulting trusted close friends or professionals to assist us to see what we cannot. Wow. This is why I said to go within your subconscious mind. Okay. Look within the darkness, the things that you, that you have, you know, neglected, betrayed, not seeing the darkness and always looking towards the light. Sometimes the greatest things you can find is when you're in the darkness. You know what I mean? And when you get that from the darkness and you bring it to light, you're, you're going to be like, holy fuck. I never knew that existed there. It's, it's like the balance of the yin and the yang. You have to have that balance, right? Yeah. So please, please, these energies that are going to be happening, it's really going to encourage all of you guys to start tapping into your creative side. Start looking to infinite possibilities here, okay? There's no limit to what you can do. It's all in the mind, the mind of creativity, the power of cre creativity, the passion, the affection that you have with something. Do not give up. Do not quit. Keep going, okay? Just like the famous artists do. You know what I mean? Everybody's different. Put in your own touch, your own twist, so that it can be unique in its own way. Just like you. All right, guys. Love you. Hope you like this reading. Bye.